And welcome back to Third Age Total War, the massive overhaul submod. We are going to continue our game of the Sylvan Elves. I've been testing improving my quality, and I hope that, uh... I hope this is an acceptable quality value. It ought to be. It's literally the level right below my natural monitor resolution, so... Um, there might be some stuttering in the image, of course, simply because I, uh... Simply because end processor, but uh, this this game records remarkably stable is remarkably stable in its recordings, so you know I'm not I'm not really complaining or anything. Uh, let's check. Okay. Anyway, all right, next turn is up. And a turn report, faction announcements. Prince Legolas gains the trade Prince of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Lord of Arendelin, and March Warden of the West, which increases his uh, which increases his ability as a, as a governor, his loyalty, his respect, chivalry. Yeah, he improves a lot. Uh, the Mirkwood Spearmen are done in, uh, are retrained at a uh, Eminifuin, and war is started all over the place. Orcs of Gundabath, the Elves of Lorien. The Dale with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, even though, you know, the Orcs of the Misty Mountains are over here, and Dale's over here. I'm guessing it's because the Dwarves are at war with them, but anyway. And uh, also Rune and Rohan. So, uh... Yes, let's get this started. Our next objective is Arindol is Arindolin. Um, we also have two more turns until Wivyboard here is captured. Gonna... Do that wrong. So, because that decided to not target uh, the King of the Elves like it should have, Ghost is going to restart that real quick. Because I can't move it in, because because I uh, moved it into the enemy zone of control, and the second one of your armies moves into an enemy zone of control, which is the eight spots surrounding them. Yeah, they can't move anymore unless they attack the enemy, which is sometimes irritating when simple mistakes like that happen. Stop it. Onward. Just fuse, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna garrison these. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's... Just trying, sorry, just trying to think about what I should do. Um, pull. Yeah, we we'll recruit some spearmen here to help reinforce Legolas. They can travel south to the old forest road from there. And I guess what we're going to do is we're going to have leg. We're going to have leg. We're just going to have leg. Just leg. No, no actual name there, just Leg. Um, and Legolas gather the majority of the troops in, uh, yeah, why'd I do that? No, no! Okay, there we go. We're gonna have, uh, Prince Legolas travel, travel to Erindolen. Actually, maybe we'll, maybe we'll wait a turn so I can get there in one shot. And we're gonna save. And probably all gonna skip all this because it's boring. Ah, okay, our new mission is take Rakyaburg. Rakyaburg is up here. It is, uh, the Greyland Bales. We're gonna capture that with King Thranduil before long. I'll be rewarded with one of the best units currently available, which means it's probably going to give me Mirkwood Stalkers again, because... You know, why not? My relations have improved the dwarves, you know, I haven't really done anything. These guys exist. See, they really do like us. Anyway. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take Legolas' army, five, uh, five units, about 500 men, and march them over to Irene Dolen, which is garrisoned by about 1,500 orcs. That should be fun. Actually, we're the elves, so it's naturally going to be fun. 
So we march out that way. Lithy board will be taken next turn one way or another, either through combat or through, uh, not combat. Depends on what uh, the rebels there decide to do. Okay, we're gonna... All right, we're going to... No, cancel. Okay, we're going to save in Sylvan Elves 4, not 3. And we're going to end the turn. Oh, here we go. Oh, the enemy's sallying out of Erin Dolen. Probably because, you know, that number is 3 to 1. So, uh... We get to face Galmod and his army of orcs. Galmod looks very human for someone leading an army of orcs. Yeah. But, uh, we're not complaining. Because this may be a very difficult battle, given the number differences. But as I've mentioned before, the elves are very, very, very strong. So I have a feeling this is going to go in our favor, despite the 2 to 1 odds that the, uh... Little center bar gave us. Alright. Gotta issue orders quickly because uh, when the enemy sallies out of us, sallies forth from a siege, um, you have no time to prepare as the attack. You have no time to prepare if you are the attacking faction. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna run. I'm sure that the uh, fire arrows are off. And then we're gonna have these groups run out here. Because we need to be... Because we need to maximize our time shooting bows. They run like... They're, they're, they run... It, it's kind of funny, actually. The, uh, the elves run unnaturally fast, and it causes them to look a little ridiculous when they run. You know, it just looks like they're... It looks like they're anima it looks like the animation's just running a little too fast. Or at least faster than it ought to be. So, anyway. Hey, you there, guy? Get in line. What, what are you doing out there? What are you? What are you? What are you just a point man or something? Jeez. Look, look! Look at him! Look at him! He's just because you're showboating out here. I mean, I mean, I appreciate they're shooting his boat too, but it's like, it's like, sir, if you could get in the line so that you, you know, don't get ganked when you are at least expecting it, that'd be appreciative. I, I, we, we would be appreciate. Forget it. Alright. Oops. Didn't mean to drag those cards. Um, Alright, our biggest concern is probably going to be for our archers is going to be the ranged orc looters, because, uh, you know, they're going to shoot the archers regardless. Um, and we don't want to lose too many uh, rangers or uh, sentinels, because they are. You know, they're elite troops that I can't replace yet, especially the rangers. Sentinels of the Woodland, woodland Realm will come, will be, I'll be able to uh, replace sooner, but not the, uh... They're not the rangers here. Not only that, but the rangers are a superior troop. Don't want to just lose them frivolously, regardless. Not all these... This one group of orcs is kind of in an odd cross formation. Is, uh... Is just kind of running out ahead of the rest. It's just like... Oh, or we got this, guys! You know? Like, nah, you don't. I'm pretty sure you don't. Alright. Hopefully they won't get too close and force my rangers back before I've, uh... done more damage. Uh, of course they might. You know. Yeah, they're getting too close. Yeah, just, uh, pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Run away, guys. Run away. Gonna switch their formation to loose. Oops. Okay, gonna have the rangers and the uh, sentinels run back. Disable their... Disable the skirmish mode so that they, um... Behave a little more intelligently. And oh my, we are at bat... Oh my, the, uh... Gonna have to hit that orc force there. Gonna reactivate the skirmish mode because uh, looks like the orcs are going right for the uh, Mirkwood Rangers. So we're going to need them on uh, ready to run. We're gonna have our biggest archer units uh, slaughter these orcs here. 
because uh, they're vulnerable and uh, running in a tight cluster. Yeah, guys, run away. Just run. Run, please. Run. What are you, what are you doing? You're running. You're walking the wrong, wrong way. Run. Run. Go. And then we're just going to let the Sentinels of the Woodland Realm pepper you with arrows, and... That is not running! Stop it! Don't engage! Run! Seriously, you're not helping me sometimes. Ugh, we already lost a couple. Because they stopped running, for no apparent reason, really. Well, we can still escape them, and we lost another one. Of course. Uh, let's see. Appears the orcs AI has gotten a little stuck now. What's going on in the, in the infantry battle? Looks like lots of guys are beating the crap out of each other. Okay. You know, turns a phrase that you associate with Middle Earth. Beating the crap out of each other. Um, I don't believe these orcs are actually fighting anyone. They, uh, they just seem to be pretending to be and just kind of standing there. AI bugged up a little bit on them, I think, so... Whatever, allow me to riddle them with arrows a, few, a bit more. The enemy are badly bloodied. The uh, orcs, are they gonna retreat? Left. Please tell me they will, I kinda need them to. Gonna have the sentinels stop firing on, uh, on those orcs, just because they're a little far away. And uh, too close to the rangers, really. I'm gonna have them open fire on the uh, on the uh, orc looters now. Oh, these orcs are retreating. Okay. Gonna have the rangers re re advance, uh, advance again. Actually, they could hit the ranged orc looters from here, but I like them. I'd like them a little closer so they can take better advantage of their range. Disable the skirmish mills and they'll start running away for whatever reason. And let's check out the melee battle. Ah, stop spinning. Stop spinning. Ah, I keep, hitting, I keep hitting the edge of the screen I'm trying not to. Um, so, sir, right right here, you, you seem to have a lot of blood in your eyes. You may, uh, you may want to, uh, like, like kind of get out of the fight after you kill the next guy and uh, wipe it. Because it looks really uncomfortable. In the meantime... I'm just gonna keep riddling the, uh, the orc formations with arrows. The one looter squad is... the one looter group is already, uh, badly beat up, so... I'm just gonna let it go. Oh, Legolas's regiment got, uh, caught up in the fighting, it looks like. From such tidings does victory emerge! I have no idea what you said, but you do not sound like an elf. I think you're an imposter, sir. Look at that, the Ranged Orc looters are almost completely slaughtered already. Meanwhile, the entirety of Legolas's regiment enters the battle with their... ...giant sword things. Which I can't remember the name of. Hey look, it's Legolas! Hey Legolas, what's up? Stab them! Stab them all! See? He already killed one. And he just got whacked. And he got whacked again. And he keeps getting whacked. I don't quite understand how the how the uh, combat mechanics work in melees. Um, sometimes a little confusing. Like 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 units seem just to get like stuck in this perpetual loop where they keep getting stabbed or, or slashed and it doesn't really stop. Uh, you know, it it can be kind of it's kind of bad for generals, especially it seems. Where generals just keep taking hits and not actually seem to be fighting back at all. The good news, though, this is work one orc unit is badly outflanked by uh, Legolas's regiment, so, uh... That should do a lot of good. Also... Oh, were the, uh... Orc looters wiped out? Almost. There's one guy left. Oh, no, he's dead. He's very dead. Which means my archers can now switch targets. 
you can switch to this uh, orc looter group that decided to, hey, let's just run really far away from the main fight. Because that's going to serve you well against elven longbows, you know? Meanwhile, Legolas's regiment makes a strong showing in the uh, on the enemy's flank. Oh! Enemy's starting to break. That group of orc looters is already uh, is already out of the action. And this group trying to rejoin the action is getting uh, riddled with arrows. Oh, I think the uh, orc commander is here. The guy who looks like a human on the overworld, but technically is actually an orc. There he is! There he is. He looks like a, uh, an orc of the Misty Mountains, actually. See, he's tinier and kind of scraggly looking. But his uh, unit's not doing well. They're kind of just being shot apart. Oh, the uh, Sentinels of the Woodland Realm went out, ran out of uh, arrows. So you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna join the fight! Because why not? Seriously, they're about to outflank this unit here anyway, so... It's not really gonna hurt them to join. From the battle. Press our advantage while his forces are in disarray. Ah! The enemy general's running away. You can see how fast the Sentinels of the Woodland Realm run, run. they're actually catching up to the, uh... They're actually, they're actually overrunning the, uh... the enemy forces. <laughs> they're just, they're just running roughshod over them, this is, this is great. There's just something inherently funny about this. Oh crap. That unit's not routed, however. So what we're going to do is have the uh, infantry pick up the slack here, and... The oh! The field. And the battle's Pursue over! And run them down. I'm going to end the battle the now, because I don't want to take any unnecessary vanquished. losses by pushing this my luck. Is a great victory worthy of only the and yeah, you can see how much better them. the elves are compared to uh, orcs. Uh, yeah. The story would be different if we were facing Harad or Rune, but we're not! Yeah. Now I'm going to look at the specifics. The bat losses are losses. Take now this ring, he said, for thy labors and thy cares will be heavy, but in all it will support thee and defend thee from weariness. Seer down to Gandalf of the Red Ring, Silmarillion. I imagine that's when Gandalf received the uh, one of the Elven Rings of Power. Uh. Our lands will be safe once more! And Irene Dolan is now ours, and we can, uh, occupy her sack. Um, does give us a bit of money, but we're going to occupy again. And with you board? Are we going to fight? We've yep. No, no, I mean, no, no, we're not fighting. They gave up without a fight. And, uh, going to occupy the settlement, too. So, a bit of a fun fact about Third Age Total War. Their changing of the religion mechanic into culture has an impact on what units you can recruit and train in the game. Um, every elven you, every unit for each faction needs a, certain percent, needs a certain percentage of culture in order to be constructed. For example, let's take a look at the mustering hall here. So, in Withyboard here, we only have about 18% elven culture. Um, we need 33% though to build our even our basic units, like the stalkers, the, the Merkwood stalkers and spearmen. So what we need to do in order to in order to increase it, like building a church or a, like building a church in the base game, we have to build something like the artist studio for the elves, which will increase our uh, culture by 2% every turn. Um, of course, kind of like the like kind of like in the base game uh, with religion, culture. Can have a bad effect on culture. Can have a bad effect on your train on your on the diplomats that you train. So you de de so you generally don't want your culture above seventy five percent. Um, or is it? 
I think it's actually 80% for the elves, because they're like, they're like, best unit requires 80% culture. Let's find out, in fact, by checking this. Can we see it? No, we can't. How about this? Okay, the Merkwood Shield Guard... Okay, it only qualifies when we've restored the Elven Kingdom. But, um, maybe we stole the, when we restored the Woodland Realm, but, um... Yes, yeah, essentially our best units are going to require 80%-ish. But then you want to dismantle the Artist Studio, because otherwise everything kind of maxes out, and, uh... And also your, and also your generals start gaining, um... Start gaining, start gaining traits, uh... Cultured and the like, you may rem if you played the base game, you know what that is. It increases their, it increases their, really their, how good they are as a governor, but at the expense of how good they are as, com how good they are at command. So we want to avoid that for some, like King Thranduil or Legolas and whoever other, which, whichever other generals we happen to use in the future. All right. Um, to start, we're going to do land clearance, I guess just to increase this population faster. Uh, it seems like the best option at any rate. We can just, uh... Check the end of turn report. Okay. Freight increase. Elven Legolas is now an L a little bit. Legolas is now a proven commander. He has plus three command. Structure and structure report. Tower for, Li Tower for Lin and, uh... Eminifuin have completed their constructions. Let's see if they, uh... See if we can do something about that now. And Eminifuin. Okay. And I'm going to build a grain exchange, give it its basic market. And here we're going to... what's its culture like? 72%. Mm, could use a little boosty, but not now. I'm going to lose track if I try it now. So what we're going to do... actually, it's not have Tower for Lin build anything, so we can save the money. For Lin. And have these elves start marching south to, uh, Erin Dolen. Then we're going to get this agent out of this settlement. Oh, we can retrain this. Because our culture is much higher here, 54%. We're still going to have to boost it. Still going to have to boost it to acceptable levels, but... We're already starting in a good spot here, so we can retrain our... Our cannon fodder type units, as they say. No, we didn't even take many... We didn't take many archer losses, though the Mirkwood Rangers did keep... Did absorb all of them. Um, now we're going to have to spy move south. Where he comes into range of Irene Runen and Leoholt. Leodholt. Leodholt at the edge of Mirkwood. This is a, um... Uh, Western Mirkwood. This is the heart of Mirkwood. Um, those are both targets for Legolas and a bit. In the meantime, we're going to... figure out... a new... For the garrison for with... Onward. for... Withyboard? Withyboard? I don't know.